Hello Mulis. Here after I am going to prepare few videos on DataWave. So I will be making videos on various DataWave syntaxes. So uh, let us get started with what is DataWave actually and uh, especially DataWave 2.0 version. So DataWave 2.0 is for Mule 4 runtime. It's not for Mule 3 runtime version. So Mule 3 runtime has DataWave 1.0 which we are not going to discuss. But Mule uh, for DataWave 2.0 is more powerful than Mule 3 DataWave 1.0 version. Okay, but uh, first of all, uh, what is DataWave? So DataWave is something the Mule expression language for accessing and transforming the data. You might have seen like many connectors in MuleSoft when we are creating any applications, right? You are seeing most of the things as configurations, like you know when you drag and drop the database connector, you enter some username, password. It's more kind of configuration things. So what all coding you have in MuleSoft is something which we use. Uh, is DataWave 2.0 that is nothing but Mule expression language. So uh, with the help of this Mule expression language we write syntaxes to access or process or transform any data that is the reason we use DataWave okay and um, for example so to transform the data for, for example if we have a json format of data and you want it to convert to xml then you can you will be using DataWave for that and uh, if you want to access any specific field within the data for example you have a payload like for, like a body json body which has like name id company and if you want to access the name value so what you will do is like you know the syntax will be like payload dot name okay the payload is nothing but the actual message right so uh, these are the things which typically a data, uh, we do in data view okay with the help of mule expression language the syntax we call it as mule expression language which is within hash and square brackets whatever expressions we need to write it should be within hash and square brackets that is the most important thing which you need to understand next basically we can do all kind of extractions and transformations using data view 2.0 all right so before going to data view preview future i would like to uh, you know uh, tell you what is this you know a uh, preview feature in data view which is not there in any other programming language which is present in mulesoft and how powerful it is all right so why we use this data view preview feature and what is data view preview if you are not sure about writing the syntax right you know if if you are given a, a snippet asking you to transform uh, from one format of json to another format of json you are not sure about the syntax so what you will do you keep on writing the code or write the syntax okay deploy your application run it and test it right if something goes wrong again you have to change the syntax again you have to run your re uh, rerun your application and check the syntax so to avoid that we have a powerful uh, feature called data view preview that is been provided by mulesoft in its data view uh, thing okay if you are struggling to deploy your application that's what i have said like always to check whether your syntax is correct or not then data view preview helps us to overcome it okay so please make sure that your tooling instance is running properly to utilize this feature okay this is just a added feature sometimes in some systems due to some reasons this data view preview operation might not be uh, you know uh, working properly but there are some alternatives okay but don't just rely on the same feature and you know it should not be an obstacle for you to code okay so i told you right tooling instance first of all let's go back to uh, any point studio okay what i would like to uh, uh, tell you is this is mac os so you will be having tooling instance details in any point studio preferences if you are windows users it will be there under windows preferences okay so when you click on preferences and start searching for tooling right you can see this option under any point studio tooling okay the first thing which you have to do is check the status so always to perform this preview operation right to make this available this tooling instance should be in running state you can see it is like tooling instance is running if at all it is not running for any reason please restart the instance 
all right and also a uh, default read timeout value please try to increase it i have added a zero over here because if you are uh, you know keeping your data view preview idle for some time the tooling instance will be expired and you know your pre preview future will, may not be uh, available for you to use okay try to increase as much as possible so that even if you are like you know not uh, coding for some time it will it will still be available okay these are the things you need to check before using the data view preview feature i will show you some uh, tips how to you know quickly utilize this feature okay click on apply course now let me create a new project to show you what exactly is data view preview click on new project okay um say like data view okay so first things which you need to do is drag and drop this transform message into some flow this is just for using data view preview feature okay so this is my process my way of doing things if you are having a better approach you can go with that so the very first thing whenever you drag and drop a transform message by default it will come as output application java so for that what i'll do is to make this preview feature more faster what i'll do is i'll keep this output as application json then i'll go into this single mode okay i don't want this because currently i am not mapping anything here over right so what i am doing is i am going into single plane mode and uh, click on preview feature you can see down there is like a running preview right wait for some time it may take initially few seconds okay once it is done you can see the output of what exactly is present in this input size so this is basically where you are writing the syntax isn't it so this syntax the output of this it will execute and show the output so currently you can see output application json and i am giving an empty object here that's the reason it is saying that the result of this syntax is this one as we are giving empty brackets it is give your output is uh, flower braces right on object now if you give an array okay it will turn it as an array all right you can see here you can do many things if you type something like sravan okay it will write sravan if you want to concat two names right uh, so plus plus space lingam you can see sravan lingam so at first point you know when we are new to coding right if you are not sure about uh, concatenating first name and last name first what you will do is you will do something like plus sravan lingam if if you are new to data view then you can see something over here still there is some output showing over here but that is not right because you can see there is an error here which is a warning symbol whenever you see a warning symbol over here beside this data view 2.0 that means this particular syntax is wrong okay if you just hover on it it is saying the error what type of error it is so you can see it is saying that you call the function plus with the arguments string and string so to concat two string we should be using plus plus not plus so for that what we used if we are not having this preview feature so what i'll do is i'll just immediately keep plus plus then you can see that error is gone and you know i got my output so if this preview imagine that if this preview feature is not available you should have you know uh, you would have deployed your application multiple times to test this code by keeping listener creating a local host all these configurations and all but that is not required so to have this data view preview feature you need some dummy data so that you can perform some operations and syntax so that it will give the result still you can see this is not my you know desired output i need something like a space right so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and add a space over here now it is my desired output so even for this space thing if this data view preview feature is not available then again you have to make this change deploy your application and test it out so this is something which is like wonderful uh, feature that i feel personally uh, for a developer uh, uh, which really helps them in getting things done okay so one small uh, tip for any developer when you are starting with dev data view you know i have expertise over 5 years now on data view i always suggest you guys if you are performing any operations if you are writing any syntax if you have some logic to implement please do not start coding everything at one go okay do step by step 
if you are having something like you know you need to f uh, first map things then filter out and then group by please don't try starting uh, start writing the code right away like you know everything start from mapping things then do a filter on it then do a group by on it in that way you have to go okay so this is uh, more about preview feature and uh, just to show you a few more things 2 plus 3 you can see 5 so next 3 by 2 you can see 1.5 so all these things all right so i told you right if there is any error so this is the correct output 3 by 2 you are getting output so what i'll try to do is i'll try to give 3 by 0 okay when i give 3 by 0 still you are seeing 1.5 this is where most of the developers who are new to data view or preview feature they think that this is correct no but you i told you right whenever you are finding a warning symbol over here beside data view 2.0 that means your code is wrong so it is saying division by zero error okay we cannot divide a number by zero okay in that case you want to change you can see there is an immediate change in this one and i told you right something about tooling instance timeout if you are not typing anything okay if you are not typing anything and just keep it, keeping it it idle for some time this data view will expire you know th this feature preview feature will expire then again you will be trying to do something like you know uh, going ahead and changing things and all that will not work out properly or uh, again this is a tip from my side i always suggest when you feel when when you see this uh, timeout right you you will see the warning symbol over here saying that you know 500 server error tooling instance is not working then what you have to do is if you are having any code right just copy that code okay control all control c delete it delete the transform message okay and drag and drop again okay paste the code go to single window and then click on preview again you will be able to see this uh, data view preview feature okay that is the best way to do things instead of you know trying out or wasting time just delete the copy the code delete it and paste it again okay also whenever you are using a data view preview feature make sure that you are keeping this transfer message in a separate flow so that no connectors are there just before that transfer message and after the transfer message because data sense will try to capture few things from previous connectors so to have you know things uh, smooth you have to uh, follow these tips to get started okay in my next series we will start with what is an array and what is a what is a json actually what is an array and what is an object and then we shall start uh, our series with few syntax starting with map map object and so on hope you like this session